James Melendez James, the wine guy, a fantastic wine from Emeritus called Pinot Hill. So stay tuned for this review. Excited about this wine. Now this is the first vintage of Pinot Hill Sonoma Coast. This is a state bottle. Uh, beautiful label here, uh, something I look forward to tasting every single bottle. Uh, but it's a very sophisticated bottle uh, on the outside and of course very sophisticated uh, content. Uh, Emeritus, so Pinot Hill is a side panel here, vintage 2013. Uh, Sonoma Coast Estate Bottle, Pinot Noir, 13.7% ABV. A remarkable wine, I think this is a fantastic wine where I'm uh, truly tasting fruit and not alcohol. And there's a fine point there. Uh, I think in California, Sonoma Coast, it's particularly hard to get uh, in the 13 range. Not impossible, but uh, difficult. You'll see a lot of um, you know, Pinot Noir in the 14.5 range, which is a bit high. Uh, Caneros, Russian River Valley, you're, you're going to find that in Santa Barbara. Uh, but I think it's very, very nice to have a wine like this because I'm tasting fruit, not tasting heat. Sometimes alcohol at a certain level, especially for Pinot Noir, will mask some characteristics in my opinion. So uh, clonal identity here is 4-5-115-667-777. Uh, additionally, uh, 828 and Elite. Uh, this is a very high elevation, very high uh, steep uh, grade here, uh, 292 feet above sea level, first vintage. And uh, a favorite producer, I think they just do a phenomenal job of all the Pinot Noir that they are producing. So uh, this bottle is $55. I'll put more information on the producer down below. And uh, we're going to start off with the uh, scent characterization followed by the flavor profile. So this wine is 94 points out of 100 points or 9.4 out of 10 points. Uh, scent characterization is first followed by the flavor profile and I'll repeat the point score again. So scent characterization includes hayberry, underbrush, tea, into pepper, dense forest, and uh, crushed red candy. Next, the flavor characterization. Gorgeous mouthfeel. Uh, particular notes on this are just um, elegant and beautiful, but not overwhelmingly so. So definitely uh, characteristic notes on here include tayberry, toffee, Ethiopian coffee, rose petal violets, and a hint of simmering spices. Again, 94 points out of 100 points, 9.4 out of a 10.0 scale. More information on the producer will be listed down below. The like button is right down there, so please hit that. Share this video on your favorite social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your support in 2016. Many more great wines to come. Salud.